What's popping everyone, Bobby TV is coming back at you with another video. Welcome back to the channel, or for all of you guys who are new, welcome. My name is Marco Sivas and I teach about dropshipping, e-commerce and Shopify in general. So remember to hit the subscribe button down below if you want to move away from a 9 to 5 job and you want to grow your own business. So moving into the video for today, as you might have seen from the title, we are going to do some examples of how I would target specific products. I'm going to jump into my computer and show you live on Facebook Ads Manager the exact targeting I would use in Facebook to go ahead and get the absolute best results. So let's jump into my computer. So inside of my computer right here, as you can see, we are on my YouTube channel where you can find a lot of other videos about Facebook targeting, Facebook product research, and actually the video trailer or the YouTube trailer, the channel trailer as it's called, is actually the video about how do you find winning products using Facebook. I will link it in the description down below. You should really go ahead and check it out. It's really an in-depth video on how you can use Facebook search engine and Facebook search to go ahead and find winning ads and winning products really easy and can then go ahead and spy on your competitors stores but moving into ads manager right here as you can see we just got a couple of tests because this is my test Facebook ads manager account where I'm trying to learn you guys a lot about different Facebook ad strategies so definitely go ahead and check the other videos out and hit the subscribe button down below but if we just move into a normal ad set um, I just made a test campaign with an ad set and a given ad um, I think we made the ad in another video about some phone cases. Oh, it didn't save it. Anyway, moving away from that, going into the ad set right here, you, you want to say it is so. Just for the example of this video, we are going to promote a dog ring with a paw on it. I've talked about a, a lot about this kind of uh, product a lot in my other videos, but let's just use that for an example as well in this video. So what I would always start off with when I'm testing, um, doing PPE, I always test on PPE, I test with a 5 to 7 app budget or on WC conversions with a view content conversion starting off with and then I use 10 to 20 dollar as per, per ad set. Um, but this is just going to be in Krona because apparently my ads manager is in Krona. But let's say for the US dollar, we're going to say $7, which will be about 40 Krona. And I always start on at noon time, at mid, uh, sorry, at midnight the next day or maybe on Mondays if I test 6 to 12 products a week. I maybe sometimes go ahead and actually just start all of the products on the same day and then go ahead along the week, look at all the data, which ads are performing the best. So if we're gonna say on Monday, which would be the 25th, um, zero, zero, uh, it's gonna be at, which would be 12 p.m. Um, and then if you have a custom audience, let's say you're in a specific niche, we're in the dog niche, because we're selling this dog paw ring. So let's say you have a um, another product, which are also dog related, you can then go ahead and make a custom audience, make a lookalike audience, in the United States, of 1% of those maybe who have viewed content or add to cart or even purchased your other product, because then you're starting off with a pretty great um, custom audience and then you get better results if you start off with a lookalike audience of a specific niche, let's say for example dog products. But we don't got that in this example. For the location, I always go ahead and say people who live in this location. This means that everybody who lives in the United States and might be in a vacation, you will still target them with your ads. But if you say everyone in this location, you will also be targeting me all the tourists which are in the United States, which you might not want to do. So that's why I always say people who live in this location, then that will be the specific people who actually has an address in the United States where I always start off with testing. Sometimes I test in the grade five, which would be United States, Australia, Canada, New Zealand and Great Britain or in Europe that works as well sometimes in the northern part of Europe then moving on to the age group this would be compared to if you're having a product really target the teenage um, age group I would then go ahead and actually just choose above 21 or 20 um, because these uh, this age group has more money than the teenage though the teenagers will engage more on your post but they're not as likely to buy your product as the older age group which has more money. If we're having a gender-wise product, we're promoting a poor ring, so we are gonna say women. I would for this specific product maybe go above 21 or I would maybe say 17 till 
yeah, till 60. So normally I just go a bit broad and then I'm gonna use separate ad sets for the given age groups which are performing the best when I go ahead and analyze the data after a couple of days. Then you would go ahead and say English, they need to speak English, this is pretty important as well if you're targeting Europe. You wanna of course target people who knows how to speak English so they understand your ad. Moving on to the detailed targeting. So what I start off with is actually just saying online shopping because you want to target people who have shown an interest in buying stuff online because then they have a lot higher likeliness of actually buying a product as well from your store if they know how to do it. And then for the dog paw ring, I would then go ahead and narrow down the audience. Maybe with, um, I would probably do dog owners, but this is only a thing you can do in the United States, I think, yeah. Um, or you could say dog lovers as well, but you can see the dog owners would be 44 million people compared to the dog lovers, which will be um, dog lovers. So the dog lovers will be 15 million. Well, how about people who are interested in dogs? So people who are just interested in dogs which you want to be when you want to buy a pole ring is 328 million so that would be the potential reach will go down to 25 million compared to if you say dog owners so if you own a dog you're a pretty engaged in all these dog products and of course in products about dogs or dog gadgets because you're actually having a dog yourself so I would probably go ahead and say dog owners then we have an A, we have a potential reach of 13 million people. I would then narrow further down and then I would go into maybe specific dog products or specific dog brands or specific dog pages. Um, fan pages on Facebook. You can go into Audience Insight, that will be a separate video I'm gonna make um, on my YouTube account. But moving on with our targeting right here, I would then go ahead and say I love, um, if you're having a cat product, you can say I love cats, I love dogs, I love cooking. There's all these different fan pages always with starting with I love and then the specific niche or um, word correlated with the product you're selling. So I love dogs, as you can see right here, 8 million people that went down to then 320,000 people. I try to find a audience size between 300 and 1 million, mostly between 400 and 800, but 300 to 1 million can work as well. That's what's working for me at the moment. So what I want to do is I then want to stack um, the pages so I want to say suggestions this is such a powerful tool because Facebook Ads Manager is then going to show you suggestions based on the interest that you have already added so as you can see right here you can sort of like scroll through I love my dog only 5,000 people well, we're then going to say like dog lovers puppy lovers life with dogs love I love my dog love my dog Dog Lovers Club, you can sort of like when you browse through them, you can see the um, amount of people who ha are engaged or have shown interest in pages related to Dogs World, Dogs Fans. So as you can see right here, we got a potential reach now of 960,000 people. Just going to add a couple of more with Dog Lovers, that's maybe a bit too high. Dogs Today magazine. You can only you can try to also only target magazines compared or correlated with the product that you're selling. But now we're just adding a magazine as well, so pages and magazines right there. So you can see we have a potential reach of one point hope one point one million people, which is way too high. I I don't normally test with a target audience of this high. You can try to. I normally use several ad sets, so I'm not just using one ad set, but I might make two or three. Um, maybe like even more for compared to if I like the product or not. If I really like the product, I know it's a winning product for other people, I would then go ahead and test with lots of different types of targeting and try both the Great Five Europe and the States um, so that it's compared about the product. If I see a lot of engagement, a huge potential in a product, 
um, if I have scouted another store. I have a video about that on my channel as well. How do you can go ahead and scout on other stores, find their best sellers. I'm going to link the video in the description down below as well. It's all about the product, right? So sometimes I will maybe make five ad sales, sometimes I will make two. It's all up to you how much money you're willing to spend on testing. But moving uh, on as well, I'm then going to narrow further down. So I've made, I've tested a lot of different pet products, so that's why I know all these different interests so we can then go ahead and then I would if you're new to a specific product you can then go ahead onto Google and say top 10 dogs um, dog suppliers or something like that dog, or maybe like dog food and then you can say like there's um, Petco right here Petco you got the Petco right there Walmart, I wouldn't use Walmart, I would only use um, actually pages, web store stores or um, brands which are really correlated to the products you're using like Amazon wouldn't work for you because you can buy anything on Amazon compared to Petco, that's only products which are pet products. So that's why we are going to say Petco and when you say Petco which has 4.8 million as you can see it dropped right down to 95,000 people but what you want to do is you want to then press the suggestions and then a new Chewy.com is a dog thing as well. Pet bugs, pet smart, bark bugs, pets.com, like Petland, which has 2 million people. Like you got the pet supplies, go pet friendly. As I'm browsing through, I just got, can see the different reach that we got right there. I might want to add someone up here. So we are increasing our audience size because what you want to do is you want to go down here oh well, yeah okay so i already did this because uh, it's an asset that i've been using before but what you will see when you say it placement is this so what you want to remove you want to say it placements because you don't want at facebook to add it everywhere on audience and stuff like that you don't want it on the audience network if it's an Instagram product let's say it's a beauty product that's great to test on Instagram but it's all about the product some products works on Instagram some doesn't Facebook ads managers and Facebook ads are a bit overcrowded at the moment because so many people are actually testing on Facebook so it can maybe work for you to test on Instagram I don't do it all the time so normally I will just check that off and then you want the suggestion videos because the stats has a really low CPM and then the instant articles away with that as well and then just you know feeds that's those I'm using and as you can see right here we got different types of places that you can buy pet products right here we got the pages and the magazines up here we got the dog owners and then they need to be interested in online shopping which ends up with a 430,000 people reach which is a great audience size you can then play around if you want it higher or lower whatever you want and then down here as you can see you just want it to be post engagement when we're testing on PPE so that was just a very quick um, targeting tool or targeting video how do you can go ahead and target the right way using Facebook Ads Manager and giving you an example live here in my Facebook Ads Manager of a dog product. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below with your number one problem about Facebook Ads Manager and I will go ahead and answer your question and perhaps make a video about it. Please give the video a like if you got something useful out of it and hit the notification bell to always be up to date with all of my videos. Hit the subscribe so you become a part of the dropshipping family. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a successful and wonderful day. Bye.